You can see where the stator is badly burnt. So we're gonna pop this out and then replace it with a new one. Very heavy. very bad shutter when it came in so it also had sensory confirmation of this problem not just codes not just the additional diagnosis that we do but pretty cut and dry case so this is not the box this is just this is a 12 volt battery box um, I'm using this to keep them until we're ready so we've already taken this out so this job goes a lot faster if someone else do the labor of pulling this out, but you can see it's brand new. This is the new stator, obviously. Got it all installed. I'm going to apply some um, silicone to the end case and then put it on. Um, before I do that, I just wanted to um, make a couple comments about um, this little o-ring that goes on this pickup tube. This tube comes down here and picks up transmission fluid from the pan. And um, there's been a lot of discussion about this o-ring and the fact that it gets torn, and that's the reason why these transmissions go bad. Uh, and I haven't touched this yet. I am going to replace it just because we put a fresh one in every time. You have to pull this out so it doesn't interfere when you're pulling the end plate on. So when you put it back on, you want to make sure you have a fresh o-ring. Um, but you know, I can pull this off and show you that you know it's just a regular O-ring. It's not damaged at all. hasn't been pinched. Uh, hasn't been compromised. So you already saw how a dramatic a failure this particular transmission um, was, and yet the O-ring is perfectly fine. And I would say less than 50% of the time do we see damaged O-rings, which means that 50% of the time those stators are going bad on their own. Um, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of lip service, I would say, about fluid changes and why we obviously advocate for fluid changes on a regular basis every 30,000 miles. Um, just because you're changing the fluid doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to have this problem. Uh, it gives you better odds, but we've seen failures with cars that have been religious about their um, fluid changes. So obviously you want to participate or you want to subscribe to preventative maintenance um, to give yourself the best chance, but um, the discussion about having to drop the pan and wipe it out and sterilize the, the transmission, so on and so forth, and if you don't, it's going to prematurely kill your transmission, um, is a bunch of mumbo jumbo. speak to what other shops are performing this service, but um, certainly we're really grateful to be able to provide it. Um, prior to this, you know, the only option really was to buy a new transmission. Used transmissions were very unreliable. Many of them already had this problem. Um, or they, we, you know, you had a high probability that you were going to have that problem soon. Uh, so to be able to actually repair this unit as opposed to having to replace the entire assembly, the entire assembly you know, lists for over $4,000, whereas this part I can purchase for you know, list prices at like $1,200. So $1,200 part versus a $4,000 part. I mean, it makes a huge difference. So this total cost of repair is about $2,500 out the door. Um, and, you know, a transmission job would be between four and five thousand dollars depending on how you marked up the part. So we're able to cut that price in half and that is oftentimes the difference between people being able to keep the car or having to you know, put it out to pasture. So it's nice to be able to keep these fuel efficient cars on the road.